All right, Matthew, let's check out some of your uh, GS free skiing this past uh, weekend. Having trouble kind of finding you there. There we go. All right, pretty good stance, pretty well balanced. Looks pretty good there. I like that. I mean, you can see rolling up early in the turn, and you've got pressure already moved over. You can see the bend in that new uphill, new new outside ski. I mean, the new uh, new downhill ski here. Your left foot, but you can see a pretty good bend in that ski. So we got pressure there. Kind of bad camera work. This this go around. I'm having trouble finding you. Um, you know, on this side, uh, you can probably see right there some diversion. So, you know, really want to be committed to rolling both skis up. However, with the pressure on that, uh, the new outside ski, this would be your right foot. But because you, you kind of cheated and diverged and you got some weight on the inside, you're twisting that one, you can see there's no bend there. So, you know, our first move is has to be transfer the weight in the transition to the new outside ski, roll them both up, stand on them, be patient, be committed to that new outside ski, uh, and resist that temptation to be kind of twisting and kind of cheating there. Good looking turn there, you know, we're, we're well balanced, level shoulders, you know, kind of hands out in the front, uh, long outside leg, short inside leg, looks like matching angles. You were using, really using the whole hill. I was kind of going down straight, so uh, this isn't zoomed in. We were up close and personal. Well, again, nice level shoulders. Um, you know, one thing to remember in, in GS, um, when we come through in the transition, uh, we don't really want to stand up too tall. We actually want to come through, recenter, rebalance, uh, and then as we are getting towards the time where we're going to make our turn, we're going to move forward, get the hips over, and more of a, our extension will typically be a little bit more uh, this direction. So we're going to move forward and inside as opposed to up. Good looking turn there again. Pretty well balanced. Now here's a bit of that uh, you know, divergence again, you can see skis kind of going, you know, this way. You really got to commit through the transition, transfer the weight to the new uphill ski, new outside ski, I mean, roll up and stand on it. Another rule of, of skis is we got to make, uh, got to keep, you know, keep snow contact. Um, you clearly see here, um, you know, that ski up in the air, the new outside ski and hard to get early pressure on the new uh, new outside ski when it's in the air. Um, so you start the turn here on the inside ski, thus the divergence. But you know a lot of good things going on there. Uh, nice level shoulders, um, good stance, proper long outside leg, short inside. But, you know, let's think about two things. It's really transferring the weight, uh, you know, after we get recentered and rebalanced in the transition without standing up too tall and commit to that outside ski. It'll come around. Um, you know, if you roll the inside leg, little toe down in conjunction with, with uh, the outside, it's hard to diverge it. So let's make sure we roll them both up in a high edge angle but have most of the weight on the new outside ski. That should help you out.